Jumbo. Salam alaikum. G'day. You know, uh, you may have noticed, but Mr. Mazungu does not dance. I write music and record music. If I was to come up after Sister Anne, I'm in big trouble. Welcome to everybody here. I am not the Commissioner of Police. You may have noticed. I don't have enough stars on my shoulder and my pay packet is not big enough. The Commissioner would love to be here, but he cannot be here tonight. I am here on his behalf and also on behalf of the Vaccine Command here have two roles. I would recognise my colleague here, Sam Lim, and I would like to recognise the guys that are patrolling around here from the Wanneroo Police Station and the Warwick Police Station. Without the police, you uh, need the security here. At the same token, I want to acknowledge the guys from the OAC and from the community that are in their yellow and orange tabards that are providing security from within their own communities. I'll start going back a bit. 14 years I've been engaging with the Africans. I want to acknowledge a couple of friends of mine are sitting there. Mzungus, Ian, Linda, Goldsmith, stand up please. I want to acknowledge them because these are people from Perth that go to Kenya and are working with orphans in Kenya. So for people that reach out and help others, it's God's principle, as you all know, to help others where your biggest blessings come from. So I just want to acknowledge you first, and I'm even acknowledging you before the politicians that are sitting here and the mayors, and there's so many of you from the, from the federal and the state government, I acknowledge you all, the mayors. I want to you like uh, Tracy and Anne and Ayor, and, and I, I see all of you sitting here, I acknowledge you, I, I'm not going to say every name, um, but I will say you are all very important, you are all very important, because you all form the part of WA's community. The Jumbo African Festival is very important because of 54 countries, not counting the three islands, all being brought together for a common day to celebrate. As police, we've been invited to make sure that we lock up the ones that are not celebrating enough. Oh, okay. So we want you all to celebrate and have a good time. Brother Joe, many many years ago was a very young joe 14 years ago ayor was a very very young girl and i remember these times and i remember and see how much these people have grown to becoming esteemed members of the community and i think to see the path that they have fallen to what they've achieved sends a message to the greater community and when i look around here i'm about youth and when i see all the young people here from the, young, from the African community and other nationalities that have married to the African groups. This is the sustainability of the future. And I just think to all you mums and dads, encourage your, your children because they are your fruit of your loins that will carry your future forward. Finally, I want to thank you for having us here. And I want to make mention, COVID is here. Omicron is here. We had another 24 cases today. We are knowing that some of the African youth have not been vaccinated. There is a vaccine bus right there. Get your jab. There's a, there's a 200 vouchers for a $10 gift to get a drink and feed after you've had your voucher. I encourage you to get vaccinated. I can't make you get vaccinated. Neither can any of these important people here. Your decision. But the decision is made for other people that are sitting around you. You have a great night. And thank you very much for having us. And... Two days of celebrations and I hope it's cooler tomorrow. Asante Sana.